morning, educators and evangelizers. As part of our practice in Don Bosco Press, we begin this catechetical activity with a prayer, acknowledging that God is the source of life, of love, and all learning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good morning. Today is July 31, Memorial of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. I am Father Donnie, and we are now on this fourth episode of Christ. Evangelization and Faith Series, or simply Chefs, which is part of the Salisiana Books Shop Talk. 
For those who just joined us, this Shop Talk is a teacher training program that Don Bosco Press provides for its partner school. And since webinars like this have become a regular fare in this time of the new normal, we are bringing this Shop Talk in the realm of cyberspace, hence the name Shop Talk Online. To tell us more about this, to formally welcome us all and to introduce our resource speakers, I am proud to present to you the Executive Director of Don Bosco Press Incorporated, Brother Carmelo Martinez, SDP. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, dear friends and participants to this Chalk Talk online session of the Chef series. We are happy to be with you once again, and we are grateful that you have chosen to spend your morning with us. It has become part of our practice here in the Chalk Talk online sessions to greet each other in the chat box once we enter but also to answer some poll. And so I have this first poll for you to answer this morning. And the question is, how are you this morning? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you worried? Are you inspired? Are you excited? Okay. Responses are coming in. Yeah, around 40% of our participants this morning are happy. Around 38% of the participants, it's moving, <laughs> around 40%. 40% now of our participants here this morning are excited. Around 20 or 20% 20 are inspired. There is also a small percentage of those who feel worried. Yeah, given our situation right now in this time of pandemic, there are really many reasons to be worried about. Thank God no one is sad. We are only either happy, inspired, excited, or worried. Okay, thank you for answering our first poll this morning. Today is holiday, and we remember to pray as well for our Muslim brothers and sisters, particularly on this year of ecumenism, interreligious dialogue, and indigenous peoples. This is already the, technically this is the fifth session in a series of six, but because module making is composed of two parts, 3A and 3B, so basically this is also only our fourth session. But Somehow, we are bringing this series to almost into its conclusion. We will have one more session uh, the week, two weeks from now. If you have missed any of the sessions or you'd like to review or use the recording or share, share the inputs that you have learned, our previous chef sessions, you may now access our Don Bosco Press YouTube channel. You will also find there the recordings of all our, our other previous Chalk Talk online seminar series. And it's for free, it's for your for use of everyone. When we started this Christ Evangelization and Faith series, we were then responding to many of our partner schools questions and requests on how to go about teaching religion and doing youth ministry at this time of pandemic. And so from the very start, other than the topics of what lessons to teach, how to do modules in religion and Christian living, and how to conduct remote teaching in CL classes, we have already identified our topic for today as an essential aspect of the Christian formation of our students. All the more this time, our students need spiritual guidance and strength as they go through our challenging and changing times. And so we believe that this topic this morning is very relevant for all of us, doing youth ministry and teaching catechesis, religion, or Christian living. I am sure too that I must have shared with you how the Shep series team felt 
ever close to the Holy to the Sacred Heart. We started when we were planning about this. We did not look at the calendar of the church. We don't look at the dates. We were only identifying. Okay, we'll set it every other Friday, without us knowing that the f- first session of Shep series fell on the first Friday of June, when we commemorate the Sacred Heart. And since this is this seminar series is offered every other Friday, we were surprised to find out that the second session fell on the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart, and the third session, 3A, fell on the first Friday of July. We were only thinking of making sure that the different series don't have conflict, that you will be able to work properly and don't get stressed out. That was the; these were the only basis for us to choose these dates. But we never imagined that our our journey will be very much a journey together with the Sacred Heart. And today, as I was preparing for this simple welcome address, I am surprised that we are talking about retreats and recollection on the Memorial of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. We did not plan about this. He who promoted spirit, the spiritual exercises where we trace back the roots of retreats and recollection, recollections is sent to us by God today. And this I firmly believe to help us in our inputs and discussion. I am sure that as we celebrate the feast of Saint, the memorial of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, he is also praying for us that we may do our best, that we may be able to find the best ways to be able to facilitate retreats and recollection and accompany our charges this coming school year. Thank you for joining us this morning. May we all have a meaningful sharing today, all for the greater glory of God. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po at pagpalain tayo ng poong may kapal. It is also my duty to check where are our participants this morning coming from. So I have one last poll just to see where you are now. Okay, there are already respondents from NCR. Okay, from regions one to northern northern Luzon. There are already respondents also from region three. Wow, we have people from Central Visayas. We have representations from region four, Mimaropa and Bicol region. We have from Caraga and Davao regions. We have Western Visayas, Central Visayas. Welcome and thank you for joining us this morning. It is also my privilege to introduce to you our speakers this morning. First, we have Father Jubilant Paul Samia, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Father JP is an alumnus of Don Bosco Technical College, Mandaluyong, where he completed his basic education. He, he completed his AB in communication degree from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and his AB theology and master's degree in theology from the Don Bosco School of Theology in Paranaque City. Father JP authored the book Tayo na sa Antipolo in 2018 and this book won the best book in theology award in 2019 at the 13th Cardinal Sin Catholic Books Award. Currently, Father Jubilan is the delegate for the Salesian Youth Movement of the Philippine North Province and he is also the spiritual moderator of the elementary department of the Don Bosco Technical Institute. Makati. Father JP will be joined by Miss Leslie Ann Rosal. Miss Leanne, as she is fondly called, is a graduate of the Don Bosco School of Theology, where she completed her Master in Religious Studies degree, major in Youth Ministry. 
a sought after speaker and retreat and recollection preacher, Ms. Lian currently teaches theology at the Ateneo de Manila University, at the San Carlos Seminary, and at the Don Bosco School of Theology. We are also happy to inform you that our two guest speakers will be joined in by Father Doni Dachinduya and also as a lesion of Don Bosco and the current delegate for the communication and Commission on Social Communication of the Philippine North Province of the Salesians, and also the Editor-in-Chief of Don Bosco Press. Father Doni completed his AB in Communication Arts from the University of the East and his Master's Degree in Development and Communication from the University of the Philippines Open University, where he is also currently completing his PhD in Development Communication. Friends, let us welcome Fathers Doni and JP and Miss Lian in this morning session of Christ, Evangelization, and Faith Series. Morning, educators, evangelizers, youth ministers, catechists, and faith formators. Together with the Sound Christian Curriculum, our retreats and recollections, which are high points in the faith journey of our learners. And as promised, this fourth episode of Christ, Evangelization and Faith series will zero in on facilitating retreats and recollections in the new normal. We have in our midst two very uh, young youth ministers who will share with us their expertise, Ms. Lian Rosal and Father Juvelan Paul Samia, SDP. Good morning. Hello, Paul. So we start right away with our understanding of what retreat is. What is a retreat? Retreat. Um, personally, what I think about a retreat is that you go away from the usual path. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang usual na ginagawa mo everyday is like you teach, then there's a time for you to take a break, like a two-day thing or three-day thing, in order for you to assess your life at the moment, tingnan kung ano yung state ng puso mo at the moment. Kaya siya retreat, kasi lumalayo pa. So, just usually, the, sa history ng retreat, ano yan eh, ang retreat ay hindi lang paglayo, but to ascend to a higher plane. Yeah, parang up the hill sa usual. That's a beautiful metaphor, no? Yung pag-ascend. Okay. Father Jubilan, how about you? Parang yung retreat, kukunin ko yung punta ni Ma'am Lian kanina na it's going away, di ba? Parang you go to a deserted place. Sa scriptures, ang disyerto ay isang lugar na walang laman. Malayo sa usual na lugar kung saan ka natatagpuan. Pero, also in scriptures, the desert is a symbol of the special closeness of God's people with Adonai. So, you go to a deserted place, not to be with, to be in an empty place, but really to encounter God who loves you very much. Kaya, siguro, the retreat is a kind of desert experience. An experience of social, an of special closeness with God, who loves you very much. Kaya nga, pwede natin tignan ang retreat sa buhay ng mga kabataan natin bilang high point ng kanilang buhay spiritual. So, napag-usapan natin yung Christian living sa series na ito. So, mahalaga na sa bawat Christian living class, eh, na-encounter ng kabataan si Kristo. Pero sa encounter na yan, nagkakaroon ng high point or special moment or parang intense moment sa retreat. Oo. Tapos yung point ni Ma'am Lian kanina, yung ascension. No? Uh, merong closeness yung CL curriculum at saka yung retreat at saka recollection. No? I think that should be emphasized for our participants. 
na hindi dapat malayo yung module ng retreat o ng recollection na ibibigay sa mga estudyante, dapat naka, uh, nakadikit, nakayakap doon sa curriculum, naka-integrate, yes. Na yun yung talagang ideal na sana yung retreat, kahit na yung design ng retreat, ay naka-integrate sa plano ng Christian Living Curriculum. Mm. So, mayroong plano yung Christian Living Curriculum at part of the curriculum ay once a year or once in the life of the student, eh, mayroong tinatawag na retreat which serves as a kind of high point to his or her spiritual and life journey. Dadagdag ko para sa atin sa mga sanisyans, ang retreat ay nakikita din bilang paghahanda sa kamatayan. Baka sabihin ng mga viewers natin, medyo morbid yung exercise for a happy death. Pero si Don Bosco, very practical. Sabi, sa utak ni Don Bosco, ang isang bagay na sigurado sa buhay natin ay eh yung katotohanan na tayo ay mamamatay. <laughs> eh kung mamamatay naman tayo, di maghanda tayo sa kamatayan. At ang kamatayan ay hindi isang bagay na nakakatakot. Kasi nakakatakot ang kamatayan kung hindi ka handa. Di ba? Aksidente. <coughs> e kung mamamatay naman tayo, di maghanda tayo sa kamatayan. At ang kamatayan ay hindi isang bagay na nakakatakot. Kasi nakakatakot ang kamatayan kung hindi ka handa. ba? Diba? Aksidente. Bigla ka ma-aksidente, you're not prepared to face death, then that's a terrible thing. Pero, if you are ready to face death, death is something also beautiful. Kaya nga si St. Francis of Assisi, ba? Diba? Sister death. So, Because of death, we enter into a new life, a fuller life with God. So for St. John Bosco, ang retreat mayroong practical purpose. Mm-hmm. And that is to prepare ourselves for a happy day. Mm-hmm. Siguro if I may add, kasi po, di ba death is in a way the end of life? Yes. When you, when you want to define it. Tapos di ba mayroong mga principle na begin with the end in mind. Mm-hmm. Kasi pag you begin with the end in mind, alam mo kung ano yung gagawin mo for you to achieve that end. So, ibig sabihin, if I know that I want to die a happy death, then at this point in life that I should already grow myself, be able to make good choices. And yung retreats and recollection sa buhay ng school setup, kunyari. Ano siya eh, siya yung part siya nung tinatawag na head, heart, hand, no? So, kung sa CNE, yun yung head component, wherein they know about God, they discover much about the faith, although syempre, lalalim din yan sa puso, di ba? Yung, yung paglalim nun, high point, which is the recollection and the That's part of the campus ministry setup, di ba? In some institutions, um, I think even here, Father, na sa DBTI, meron kayong social action arm. So that's the hand. Mm-hmm. So it, 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 ano eh, it, the, the retreat and recollection, nandun siya sa gitna. So, mm-hmm. makikita mo na mas lalalim siya bilang tao, mas lalalim yung pag-intindi niya sa, na, 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 nakukuha niya sa classroom. Kasi, madalas sa classroom, ano lang yan eh, um, you only have specific periods to teach these things. Of course, the teacher can share a bit and and palalim yun na ng, ng, ng maayos, di ba, yung lesson. Pero, ano eh, iba pa rin yung nakahi, nakahiwalay talaga yung activity. Two days, three days, no? And then they're able to really go into their selves, be able to introspect, no? So, iba din siya eh. It, it, in a way, it caps off. It, ca- it caps off. Tama ba yung term? Basta, it, yun nga, high point siya ng, ng education process. Um, yung sinasabi mo kanina, Ma'am Lian, uh, we detach the students, the learners, and we bring them to a different place, an isolated location, so that there they can experience intensely um, God's presence in, in their lives. 
sa akin, let's, let's move on and let's talk about the purpose. Bakit nga ba bahagi ng isang Christian Living Program ang retreats and recollections? Siguro yung isang pinaka-basic na. Hmm. Pagka nagre-retreat ka at nagre-recollection ka, you gather yourself. Yan. Yan yung una. And we could also distinguish retreat and recollection dito sa simple way na ito na normally yung mas mahaba, mas developed na proseso, tinatawag natin retreat. Pagka mas maikli, half day or one day, tinatawag natin recollection. So, pagka recollection, you gather yourself, you gather your thoughts, you you gather your emotions, ano bang mga tumatakbo sa isipan ko, anong dumadaloy sa puso ko ngayon, and you attain a kind of deeper awareness with yourself. Kaya mahalaga yung role ng mga retreat facilitators or recollection facilitators para matulungan yung mga participants na ma-recollect yung sarili nila. Mm-hmm. Retreat would be going to the deserted place <clears throat> to encounter God. Mas mahaba. Pero basically, ganun din eh. Igagather mo yung sarili mo. Kamusta na ba ako in relation to God? So, kamusta ako at kamusta ako in relation to God? And makikita mo yung buhay mo. Anong tawag ng Diyos sa akin? Ito yung buhay ko ngayon. Saan ako tinatawag ng Diyos ngayon? Siguro sa retreat, aabot na dun sa level na yun. Yung discernment talaga. Ito ang buhay ko. Ito ang relasyon ko sa Diyos. Saan niya ako tinatawag? At hindi nagtatapos dun. Kung ito yung tawag ng Diyos, ano yung mga hakbang na dapat kong gawin para makatugon dun sa tawag na yun? And the process of discernment, kasi po, di ba? The process of discernment is not something that you do one time, big time, eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, maganda din yung, yung meaning ng tinatawag na recollection. Kasi ang, ang may isip ko, it's to gather the fragments of the past. Mm-hmm. So parang titingnan mo, ano ba yung mga God experiences ko in the past that I might have missed? Mm-hmm. Na sa isang recollection, sa isang retreat ko lang siyang maaring mag-gather ulit. Kasi nga, mm-hmm. it's It's a time for me to be quiet. It's time for me to pray. It's a time for me na parang, okay, walang social media, ba? Diba? Kaya nga minsan, diba, sa retreat recollections, kinag-gather yung mga phones. Kasi nga, it's... <laughs> Confiscated. It's, diba? <laughs> it's distracting, no? ba? Diba? Pero syempre, pag yung adult ka na, ang bibigyan ka lang ng, ng, ano eh, ng provision na, oh, sige, just turn off your phones kasi it's a distraction. Ganun. And then usually, ba? Diba, it's in a retreat house. It's really not part of the school Well, syempre, meron dyan may ABR, ganyan. Pero yung retreat kasi, you go to Tagaytay, you go to Antipolo, Baguio, ganyan, sa Batulaw. So, pupunta ka doon, at kasi alam mo yung environment, tahimik, conducive to pray. And so, I think yun, it's also a time to be quiet. Kasi totoo lang, ang daming maingay sa mundo. At parang lagi pa nga sinasabi, ang ingay-ingay na ng mundo, ang hindi na-recognize ng mga tao, mas maingay yung puso nila. So, kapag hindi sila kumiwalay, Diba? Parang ganito lang yan. Tanggalin natin yung ingay ng mundo para mas marinig mo, mas maingay pala puso mo. At pag tinil mo yung puso mo kasi kahit maingay yung mundo, kaya mong bumalaw pa rin eh. You can still make good choices, be a good person. At sa katahimikan, mahalaga yun. Kasi ang sinishare ko nga sa mga kabataan na sinasamahan ko sa paglalakbay ng retreat at reconnection nila, the primary language of God is silence. So, if you want to listen to God, mm-hmm. you have to be silent. And many times, God speaks to us. God shouts through the silence that we experience. So, malaga yun. And in the retreat, di ba, we experience that kind of silence, that kind of stillness. And in that silence, parang may special connection with Christ, mm-hmm. with God. Sa retreat, may mga prayers. Ang sa magdasal, sa tahimik na lugar, feel na feel mo yung presensya ng Diyos. At ako, meron akong isang retreat na nasamaan. Hindi ako yung facilitator. When I was still a brother. Third year, ECE students. Nang doon po, skumandan mo yun. 
And there was this prayer experience sa Chapel on the Hill, sa Don Bosco Batulao. Confessions. At habang confessions, pwede silang maglakan sa labyrinth. Tahimik. At unti-unti, yung mga Bosconians umiiyak. <laughs> Busconi. Miyak na sila. Oo. Oh. At mga lalaki to. At mga lala- <laughs> lahat, ay, hindi naman lahat, pero majority of them lalaki. Uh-huh. Wala ako na brother, hindi naman ako nagpapakumpisal, 'di ba? Nandoon lang ako na brother, nagdadasal kasama nila nakaupo. Uh-huh. Pero unti-unti, nagiiyakan na sila. Hanggang sa napansin ko, yung buong klase nagiiyakan na sila <laughs> nang wala nagpapahiyak sa kanila. Uh-huh. Tapos there was this one student, hindi ko makakalimutan. Isa siya sa mga makukulit na estudyante. After the labyrinth, he approached me. Miyak! Mm-hmm. Tulo ng tulo. Sabi niya, Brads! Brads! Manly tears! Manly tears! <laughs> he was so proud of the fact that he was crying at that moment. Mm-hmm. And he was crying together with the whole class. Mm-hmm. And that is the work of the Spirit mm-hmm. in silence. Mm-hmm. And that is what we need to facilitate in a re- retreat experience. Yes. Kasi yung sacraments din, di ba? In, it's part of the retreat. So, it, for some odd reason, ako din, when, nung ako naging campus minister ako, for all girls naman. So, at least meron, <laughs> di ba? All boys, Balance. all girls. For all girls, ano eh, um, tawag dito, may, paano ba? When I, w- pag nag-gather ako for class masses and for, for yung class, class um, reconciliation activity, hindi ko sinasabi na ang gauge ko yung umiiyak sila. Pero kasi, mas, tuwing retreat and recollection, mas, paano ba? Mas feeling ko harap nila yung sarili nila. Mas harap nila yung Diyos. And dahil nga, very, in a way, in a spiritual way, parang ang tangible ng experience nila kay God sa sacrament. So, mas emotional talaga. Na, na wala kang ginagawa. Ang gagawin mo lang, sabihin mo lang, okay, we'll now go to the chapel. You will now meet God in, ano, in, in prayer, in the Mass, ganyan. Remember all the things that you listen to, and then all the things. And, and, and the ma- in, in the Mass, it's the ultimate prayer. Pagdating doon, may mga bata, grade 2, grade 3, niiyak din. Tapos yun nga, siguro, a, la- a similar experience kay Father. Ako naman, ito, grade 4. So grade 4, you would think na ang grade 4 parang ang hirap, parang, ano, parang imposible magkaroon ng contemplative experience eh. Pero kasi naalala ko nun, bumabag yun nun. Tapos ang recollection namin was about a fear and hope. So, ang nangyari, we went to the chapel already um, to prepare for confession. Meron siya ng kandila. Kasi importante sa mga bata yung mga ano eh. Yung mga anik-anik, yung mga ek-ek. So, may kandila sila. Tapos isa-isa sila dun sa chapel. Or, oh, ito, oh, mahilig sila dyan. Um, and then, dun sa kandila, di nandun sila, grade 4. Tapos pag kumukulog kasi, alam mo naman yung mga babae, ah, <laughs> gano'n. <laughs> so ako, natatakot ako na parang ma-break yun. Kasi quiet na sila eh. Mm-hmm. And then, kumulog, nang sunod-sunod, tahimik lang. So it was, it was a shock for me. And then, nung big group experience na, may isang grade for na, lumapit sa mic. Mm-hmm. Tapos sinabi niya, when I was praying a while ago, I don't understand why I feel calm. Mm-hmm. I, when I entered the chapel, I was a um, teacher, I felt uh, very, very, a uh, very beautiful calm. And when I was looking at my candle, I saw the light. Mm-hmm. So even if there was thunder, I felt that the light was Jesus telling me, I'm embracing you. The warmth of, in warmth daw ng candle, in, um, parang nararamdaman daw niya, embracing her, telling her not to be afraid. So, sabi niya, teacher, that's why next time, if I see an EPs, mga ganon, if I see an EPs, I remember the candle, ganon. So, yun yung mga times na pag ikaw yung fasty, para kang, oh gosh, hindi, hindi, hindi ikaw to eh. May, it, si God talaga yung gumagalaw eh. Ikaw lang yung facilitator, kaya nga fasty. You facilitate the experience. And, yun nga, after that, pagdating sa confession, pagdating sa mass, Iba din eh, para siyang lumalalim ng lumalalim. Tapos at the end of the day, sabi ng mga bata sa iyo, ang saya-saya sa'yo. Ang saya-saya sa'yo. Saya, saya. So, sabi ko, yun nga, it's important that even at this point, we we look into how we do our dates and recollections. Not only in the time of pandemic, but maybe revisit yung mga methods natin, no? 
Like, especially after all these things are over. Oh. Um, we expect that the schools will be conducting their retreats and recollections via different platforms. Siguro synchronous, asynchronous, online. How do we condition the silence? How do we design such elements so that it will be conducive to pray? So that there will be the intensity of God experience despite less ideal situation. Pwedeng pag-usapan natin yan sa mga strategies, no? Pero mm. immediately, ang um, may sasagot ko dyan, clear instructions yeah. from the facilitators. True. So, kung ikaw magde-design ng retreat and you know that the retreat will be, ano ba, experienced mm. in the context of the home, mm. Imaginein mo na na may mga kapatid to. Oh, oh. <laughs> may nanay at tatay dyan. May mga kamag-anak dyan. May tumatahol na aso. May dumadaan na kotse. So sa ganitong konteksto, paano ka ngayon magde-design ng katahimikan? Imaginein mo na yun. Nasa sa'yo na yun. At bibigay mo yung step-by-step instruction sa retreat participant mo. Mm. Siguro we will dwell more on that pagdating natin dun sa strategies. Mm. No? Kasi we will be sharing with them methods on how to um, condition the environment. Um, na, napansin ko din kanina na mahalaga din yung discernment sa context ng retreats and recollections. Si St. John Bosco, he would say na very vulnerable yung puso ng mga kabataan when they undergo retreats and recollections. Kaya nga, nandun palagi yung proposal for vocation. Hindi lang yung vocation to the priestly and religious life, pero yung vocation sa context halimbawa ng grade 6, ng grade 10, ng grade 12 na nasa terminal stages ng buhay estudyante. Can we say that discernment is also a, um, a purpose of, of retreats and recollections? Yes, mm-hmm. oh, totoo yun. Mm-hmm. Kasi, diba? kasi diba po, pag when you discern, hindi lang naman siya for vocations. Like ah. vocations in the sense that you're, you're, you're treading a major path in life. Yes. Pero kasi vocation can also be uh, my response to the present moment. Mm-hmm. Diba? May isang sense of vocation mm-hmm. of, of, the, of the call of God na ganun, ah. which you discern. When yes. we say discern, kasi you want to listen to the voice of God telling you what to do. Not, not merely of bad and good, eh, pero usually, di ba, two good choices yan. Um, sa konteksto ng... Kasi nga, dahil binabalikan nila yung experiences nila. Tapos, pag-facilitator ka kasi, di ba, laging may challenge to... Ano eh, parang, di ba, may part ng retreat and recollection, di ba, Father, na parang you challenge them to do something about their life. Kasi this is what you learned. This is what got deepened in you. What do you do now? Kasi a good retreat and recollection challenges them to change, to, con- to conversion, to transformation. So, kailangan merong, meron magbago sa akin. So, para makakating ako sa pagbabago ngayon, kailangan kong tanongin ng Diyos. Paano ba natin ina-navigate yung buhay ko sa nais mo? Ano ba yung will mo? Paano ko paano ko makakarating dito sa pagbabago ko, so, no? Ano mga steps ang pwede natin gawin, Lord? So, nandoon din siya kasi yun nga, pag to listen to his will. Ultimately na naman ang desire mo. To listen to what he wants in your life. That's why maganda din na Nabanggit niyo na yata ito, Father, no? na maganda din talaga na ang isang retreat and recollection, kung ikaw ay facilitator, hindi mo tinitingnan to as an entire class. Okay? So, this is grade 3, kakabaryo, kunyari. Pero, I should be able to look into the individual person, part of this retreat. Kasi, God will speak, even if it's a generic message, God will speak to them individually in their context, in their experience. Okay? Uh, so, I think yun, no, Father? Parang, after the retreat kasi, you have to be able to make decisions for yourself. Parang, hindi ka dapat maging static. Dapat merong level up na mga yun. Oo. Kaya, on the part of the students, parang nagbidiscern. Hmm. Kasi, may tawag ang Diyos. Tinatawag tayo. 
mayroong major na tawag, mayroong moment by moment na tawag, at yung retreat sa recollection, napakagandang pagkakataon for the students to discern that call from God. On the part of the facilitators and the religion teachers, the faith formators, ito naman yung occasion for them to accompany the students. Makilakbay sa mga estudyante kasi nga, vulnerable sila ko ten ko. Talaga nilulook forward ng mga kabataan ng retreat. Totoo. <laughs> Naghahanda silang umiyak pag retreat. Di sila iiyak ng buong taon pag retreat, iiyak sila. Ibubuhos nila yan. Ito nila yan kasi and which is something good they feel at home, safe in the context of the retreat. So, yung youth minister dapat conscious siya na hindi ako nagtuturo ngayon. Mm. Nakikilakbay ako ngayon. Pinapakinggan ko yung mga kwento ng buhay nila ngayon kasi ilalabas nila yung puso nila. At hindi lang ako yung Diyos nakikinakbay. So, saan kami dinadala ng Diyos? So, the skill of the facilitator also because there's the that dimension of accompaniment. Siguro, quickly lang para matapos na tayo dito sa mga purposes, share ko lang na Isang purpose din ng retreat para ma-deepen ng mga kabataan yung insights nila from the Christian living classes, from their life experiences. Meron ding minor na ano, parang added dahil mga kabataan to eh. Gusto natin, may opportunity sila to share with one another. Dito napapalalim yung kamanasan at saka napapalalim din yung friendships nila. Eh, di ba yung mga kabataan, gusto nila, they belong to a group. So, nagiging class bonding yung retreat and recollection. Siguro sa ibang mga uh, schools of thought, sabihin nila, hindi, ang retreat recollection talaga ikaw at Diyos lang. Pero aminin natin, para sa mga kabataan, feeling nila talaga class bonding ang oh, retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Naghahanap sila ng open forum sa retreat. Oh, open forum para yung mga... Yung mga inis nila sa isa't isa mga ito. Doon nila yun. talaga ang tingin nila sa retreat. Which is part because God meets us where we are. So kung ito yung issue ng mga kabataan, gamitin natin itong mga issue na to ng kabataan para doon makatagpo nila ang Diyos. Oh. Um, let's delve deeper in this time of the pandemic. Ano yung significance ng retreat and recollection? Feeling ko po eh, ano eh, number one, it's also the time when in a lot of people are confronted by questions about life eh. Bumabalik yan. Kasi nga, ano ka eh, there's a sudden shift in what's happening. So, so lalong-lalo na sa, sa dito sa Pilipinas. So, kapag nanood ka ng news, kapag buka ka ng Twitter, nakakapagod na siya, di ba? So, parang nandun ka na sa Pilipinas. Hindi na ako nanonood eh. Kaya nga, parang may point na parang, tuwing, actually nga ako, tuwing nakaka, 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 nood pa rin ako ng, ano, ng, ng news, meron pa rin akong point na kahit ako ah, so, sabi ko, So, Lord, hanggang kailan ba? Hmm. So, oh, hanggang kailan ba? Parang biblical lang yan. Ano? Hindi na. <laughs> <laughs> parang lamentation <laughs> lang yan. Sa... <laughs> kailan ba kami magtatangis? Tapos <laughs> so, meron pang ano, Lord, um, bakit, ano, bakit walang nang, nang, ba, bakit maraming namamatay? Hmm. Bakit, bakit may suffering? Bakit, bakit parang wala kang ginagawa? Hmm. Isang ka ba? Diba? Um, sa personal struggles ko, meron nangyayari dito sa pamilya ko. Nandito ako sa pamilya ko. Minsan na, at aminin natin, it's in the home where a lot of wounds um, get reopened. Kasi nga, tawag dito, ito, you, grew, you grew there eh. Um, marami akong students na gano'n eh, tipong gusto nang lumaya sa bahay. Kasi nga, ang problema nila yung pamilya nila. So, ang daming tanong na kahit ikaw, bilang ko ikaw ay facilitator, teacher, kahit ikaw din mapapatanong eh, parang kung oh, nga Lord, hanggang kailan po ba? Pag humising ba ako bukas, tapos na ba doon ako? So yung sa, sa isang, lalo na sa time ngayon ng pandemya, kailangan natin i-meet yung mga tao where they are eh. Na kahit na ang hirap din i-grasp, kunyari ikaw ang facilitator, na parang hanggang kailan nga ba? Kasi magka-facilitate ka na retreat na ikaw din may tanong. So parang, I think, ano, it's also not only a personal experience, but a group experience. Eh. Na, kunyari ako, ako ay I'll speak as a fancy for repeats, no? Na kapag, even if I have these questions in mind, 
my audience would also have these questions in mind. We journey together in a way not to resolve the questions. Kasi wala namang resolution sa suffering. Wala namang sagot dun, di ba? <laughs> Parang kay sinong theologian, walang sagot dun. Pero, there is a, a response that we can do at the moment. Mm-hmm. No? That would allow us to see the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. And it bring us to a level of understanding. Na it might not resolve my questions. But it may propel me forward. It mm-hmm. may make me grow. Mm-hmm. No? In my response to the things I cannot change. So, yun. Basta, for, for some reason, tong pandemic, ang dami, ano gagawin ko sa buhay ko? Lalo na yung mga nalalayoff sa trabaho. Ano, paano ko pakainin yung pamilya ko? Nasaan? Nasaan? Akala ko ba? Nandito ka? Akala ko ba? Mahal mo ko? So, ang daming taong ganun ngayon. So, especially now, if we look at our students, um, the, the, the online classes would be very stressful for them. Maybe we can do like a retreat and recollection is important because it also takes them to a place wherein okay, you stop paying alam ko. Kaya wala ako iisipin. Gusto ko lang magdasal, magpahinga. And marami sa kanila ang kinikrave yun lalo ngayon. So, yeah. Father? Pwede namang may alam tayong sagot sa mga maraming tanong na yan. Mm-hmm. Pero nasa utak. Mm. Diba? Bakit may suffering? I think madami namang possible na sagot. Eh. Pero nasa utak. Kung ang Diyos ay mapagmahal, bakit niya nahayaan na mangyari ito? May sagot dyan. Madami yung sagot dyan, pero nasa utak. Pero in the context of the retreat, hindi na lang sa utak, pero mapupunta sa karanasan, sa puso, mm. dahil you undergo an experience and you dialogue with God. Yun yung pagkakaiba ng retreat. At pwede na, after the retreat, walang final answer. Pero magbabago yung disposition ng puso mo. Kasi nakatangpo mo yung Diyos na nagbibigay ng assurance na Pwedeng may sagot, pwedeng walang sagot, pero ang mm. mahalaga, nandito ako. Mm. Kasama mo ko, huwag kang matakot. Mm. So that is why, mahalaga na yung retreat in the normal setup. Mas mahalaga siya <laughs> sa panahon ngayon. Kaya kahit mahirap, huwag po tayong mag-give up. <laughs> Sikapin natin na ibigay itong retreat experience na to sa mga kabataan natin kasi mas kailangan nila ito ngayon. So sa panahon ng pandemya, may mga existential or life questions and we need to accompany our young people as they grapple with these questions. Habang wala pang retreat, pwede talaga na ang resulta nitong mga tanong na to ay anxiety, depression, kasi walang sagot eh. So, nakakalungkot, nakakatakot. Ganyan, marami talagang natatakot, nade-depress, naging anxious. So, ang naisip ko ngayon, siguro, kahit sa CLE, sana mayroong mini-mini yeah. <laughs> recollection. Oh. Oh. <laughs> may, ibig sabihin, mayroong prayer experience para ma-address itong mga questions na to Or, ma-encounter si Christ na magbibigay ng assurance mm-hmm. sa kanila. Tapos, sa retreat at recollection, dahil ito yung desert experience nila or peak experience nila, we could spend more sufficient time to tackle these questions that are very relevant to them. Mm-hmm. Nandun din yung bridging between life questions to questions that pertain to faith. Na yung first year students of theology tayo, di ba? Um, every human experience is a God experience. No? Fundamental theology. No. Galing Father Donnie! Oh. Now, let's move on to the structure. Kasi um, baka na excite yung mga participants natin sa webinar na to. How do I structure? How do I format 
my re recollection and retreat. Paano yung ideal or ano ba, uh, possible, possible structure na pwedeng i-recommend natin sa kanila? Marami kasing pwedeng gawin. I mean, um, kaya nga ako, b before we go to structure, importante din na kung sino yung pipiliin facilitator, the facilitator, or could, if, if the teacher would be the fact or whatever, the facilitator should be able to discern well. Kasi nga, um, alamin yung audience, alamin yung needs. Kasi nga, it would be in the need, um, parang nga dating needs assessment, eh, no? Tapos, alamin mo na yung sitwasyon. Kasi, you would, and even the personality of the student, kasi you would know what kind of method works. Kasi kunyari, sabi niya ng teacher na, itong grade 3 section na to, sobrang gulo. Ang dami yung AD, parang mala, ADHD. <laughs> Magbibigay ka ba na ang very silent critique to them? Naku, ikaw yung mako-frustrate. Um, kung marami silang kinesthetic, no? kinesthetic yung expression, baka dapat ibang method gawin mo. Um, ako personally, what works is that um, you discern about it, pero meron ako, naisip ko talaga at, at I found effective that you would give them moments to be quiet. Moments to introspect. Moments to really delve into the self. Para uh, at, at makipag-usap kayo. Ganun. Um, siguro, isang, isang way, kasi maraming traditions naman of giving the repeats and recollection. Um, isang way pwedeng gawin is siguro, i-dispose muna sila before the retreat itself. That could happen yun nga, yung mga mini, mini reco, whatever, sa CLE classes. No? Mm -hmm. na, pwedeng gawin ng CLE teacher para pag pinasa na sa campus ministry or sa pastoral office, ah, okay, medyo dispose na sila. Mm -hmm. Kasi, ang hirap nung parang sabak, okay, retreat and recollection, ang tingin nila, in this time pandemic, klase pa rin yan. So, kailangan, meron pa rin pag, ano ko, pag dispose and then, siguro, merong input. Pwede magbigay ng input yung facilitator. At dahil, ano siya, it's more of facilitating one's experience with God. The facilitator should keep the points to a minimum. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi nakakapagod. Ako, I came from a... Uh, I came from a... Hindi man tradition. Pero na-experience ko kasi yung reach retreat na parang wala kang time to reflect. Ang, ang bigat sa loob eh. No? So, parang, siguro, the preaching could be like a 15 to 20 minute input. Ganun. You just give them, yun nga, give them instructions on how they would navigate through the prayer, ganyan, prayer experiences. After the input, the facilitator should lead now the, the kids to, to think about what they heard. Kasi nga, kapag sinabak mo siya, kunyari, parang ano lang yan eh, parang paano ba? Parang ka nagdi-direct ng film. Hindi ka pwedeng... Hindi ka pwedeng gumagalit uh -oh. ka. So, para siyang talagang, kung peak experience siya, pataas talaga. So, ang mangyayari, after the input, um, parang ang weird naman pa game sila. Na wala na yung input. So, ang gawin, pwedeng, okay, let's spend a moment of time. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You go where, you go to a place where you think God will meet you, what mm -hmm. attracts you, ganyan. Mm -hmm. These are the questions, ganyan. These are the things that you need to do, ganyan. And then, it was step by step in your silent moment. And then, give them time to be quiet. Tapos, after nun, yun na, personal reflection. Sabihin niyo sa kanda, dialogue with God, talk to God. So, in interactions talaga. And then, right after that, maraming insights and for sure, coming from silence. So, excited yan to share. Mm -hmm. So, you would, you, would, you would expect na after the silence, lalo na pag mga bata, iingay yan eh. Magiginig mo na, umiingay na. So, pag ganyan, maganda, ipag-group sharing mo na. Kasi lalalim siya, parang tataas ka lalo. Kasi even in sharing with, di ba, usually when you in, in spiritual direction, if you share it to someone, to, to someone um, you trust, di ba? Parang, ano eh, ikaw na rin yung nagre-resolve yung problema mo eh. No? Lumalalim yung insight. So maganda yun, pag nag-share. Di ba? Kasi parang, kung ano, sagot ko na yung tanong ko. O kaya pwede rin kasi na yung experience niya ang sagot sa tanong ko. So, ganun. So, maganda din sabihin na ang value ng group sharing ay hindi para magkulitan, no? Pwede naman magkulitan, bahagya. Pero, mamimit mo din kasi si God with the experiences of your friends. So, maganda, magandang bigyan ng ganun lalim. Then, siguro, pwede. At the, at the end, i-process na ng fasi. Lalalim siya. Parang tataas ka lalo. Kasi, even in 
yung nagre-resolve yung problema mo eh. No? Yung nagre-resolve yung problema mo eh. No? Lumalalim yung insight. So maganda yun pag nag-share. Diba? Kasi parang kung ano, sabot ko na yung tanong ko. O kaya pwede rin, malalim siya. At parang ta- maraming insights yan for sure. Coming from silence. So excited yan to share. Mm-hmm. So you would, you, would, you would expect na after the silence, lalo na pag mga bata, iingay yan eh. Magiginig mo na umiingay na. So pag ganyan, maganda, ipag-group sharing mo na. Kasi lalalim siya. At parang tataas ka lalo. Kasi even in sharing with the bad usually when you in, in spiritual direction if you share it to someone to, to someone um you trust diba yeah. parang ano eh ikaw na rin yung nagre-resolve ng problema mo eh no lumalalim yung insight so maganda yun pag nag-share diba kasi parang kung ano sagot ko na yung tanong ko o kaya pwede rin kasi na yung experience niya ang sagot sa tanong ko so ganun So, maganda din sabihin na ang value ng group sharing ay hindi para magkulitan, no? Pwede naman magkulitan, bahagya. Pero, mamimit mo din kasi si God with the experiences of your friends. So, maganda, magandang bigyan ng ganong lalim. Then, siguro pwede, at the, at the end, i-process na ng FASI. Pakinggan. Kaya nga maganda sa FASI, dapat ang accompaniment, pakinggan talaga. So, papakinggan niya. Ano ba ang, o oh, sige, may ikapresenta din sa group home to. Ano ba ang naging insights niya? Habang nagiginig na yung insights na yun, the discerning facilitator would be able to make a thread of, mm. of inputs na maikli lang to wrap everything up no? and to bring them to another, to the, to the next session. So, that would be one father. No? Pero, in the Bostonian context na talagang uh, atmosphere of joy, hindi talaga mawawala yung mga activities ng fathers. Sa akin, ang principal diyan ang advocacy to ni Father Jory Scalza. Ah. No, Father, kung nakikinig po kayo, <laughs> no, from the Philippine South Province, ang palagi niyang sinasabi, youth ministry is contextual. Mm-hmm. So, depende talaga sa konteksto ng no, mga bibigyan mm-hmm. ng retreat yeah. or recollection, nung skill set ng facilitator, nung mga interest din ng facilitator, nung context kung nasaan, context ng pandemya So, youth ministry is context. So, you design your retreat or recollection based on the context. Tapos, yun nga, traditionally, ito yung, yung silent retreat, no? Pero, ikukot ko din si Father Dante Valero, SDB, na, hello, Father, kung nakikinig at nanonood kayo. Na medyo kakaiba yung retreat at recollection niya kasi sa kanya naman magulo human experience ang simula. Mm. So pwede may mga activities na masaya, maingay in contrast to the silence. Palabasin mo lang lahat muna mm. yung human dimension. And then unti-unti palalimin mo. Observant ka as facilitator sinong magagalitin, sinong nandadaya, sinong hindi nagpa-participate. Sinong very zealous, very active. And then, as facilitator, you should have the skill to process the experience. Let them share. Let them go deep into themselves. And then finally, as an evangelizer, you lead them to Christ. You lead them to the Word of God in Scripture. So, parang, mayroon din ganong structure. Ang naisip ko ngayon, dahil chef series tayo, baka hindi mahalaga yung structure. Agad. Pero itong mga sinishare natin, yung mga element. So, may silence, may input, may human experience, may sharing, may processing, may prayer. Yan yung mga elements ng retreat. At bilang chef, ikaw yung magmimix ng mga ingredients. Mm-hmm. Depende sa yung timpla. Mm-hmm. Yung mga magagaling na cook, hindi nila kailangan ng eksaktong weight ng salt na ilalagay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> diba? Depende yan sa timpla. Tansyahan yan eh. Mm-hmm. So, ito po yung mga elements na maganda na sa mm-hmm. retreat. Tansyahan, anong rekado ang ilalagay mo sa retreat mo? Ganong karami. Depende dun sa 
mga participant. Eh kung ano, masarap naman talaga broccoli. Hmm. Pero alam mo yung mga kakain ayaw na broccoli. Huwag mo nang ilagay. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? <Oo>. Chef. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay na. Dahil yung context natin ay cooking, <laughs> let's go to the ingredients, to the strategies. Ano yung possible strategies na mo offer natin sa kanila in the context of this pandemic? Y- yun nga, yung sinabi ni Father, tailor fit talaga. Mm-hmm. Well, pwede kasi, di ba, in the campus ministry, when you become a campus minister, you already have a set of modules. O sige, implement mo na to. Pang grade 5 to. Mm-hmm. Ang danger kasi, sige, gagawin ko lang yan. So, implement ko lang. To the schedule, to the dot, ganyan mm-hmm. gagawin. Pero if you are a very discerning campus minister, pastoral worker, what you do is that, okay, teka lang, even if the message, how parang how God relates with His people, di ba? The message is generic, mahal ko kayo. Pero paano ko ipapakita na mahal ko kayo, I need to be personal with you. Kasi God recognizes the uniqueness and unrepeatability of the person, no? So kung ikaw, o, diba? John, John, John Paul, Paul na naga tayo ngayon. So, parang ano, ganun din pag retreat facilitator ka dahil ikaw yung, nag, ikaw yung parang daluyan ng grasa eh. So, dapat, ang mangyayari din, you have to make sure that even if the the Word of God is, is there and every everyone will hear the same word, it has to be personalized. So, maganda na ako, um, you have a module on love, you have to first do needs assessment talaga. Kung ikaw ang facilitator, dapat Actually nga, kapag ikaw ni invite for a retreat, dapat ang unang tanong mo, ilan sila? Um, kamusta sila sa klase? Sino sila? Sino sila, di ba? Ano, kamusta ang family setup na? Nasa context ng pandemic, paano ito magagawa? Itong tailor fitting? Ah, di pa, di kailangan mag-collaborate. Mm-hmm. So, ano yan, tawag dito, kailangan kung ikaw ay pastoral worker, you collaborate with guide. Ah. May mga ano, uh, concrete suggestions like, may makakatulong bang application dyan para ah, Google makapag-tailor form. fit? Google Form is one. Mm-hmm. Google so, Form is one. So, mag-aral na po kayo ng Google, Google Form. form. <laughs> Google <laughs> ano Form, pa? Edoc, ganyan. Hindi, pero Father kasi, meron na rin yung ano eh. Meron na rin naman talagang, pwedeng mag-Zoom meeting. Oh, Zoom meeting, mag-collaborate yung mga different people involved in the formation of the oh. student. That's the second strategy, no? Yung collaboration Uh-oh. of the different people from the pastoral team or campus mm. ministry. So, hindi dahil ikaw ang retreat facilitator, sa na ito lahat. Oh. Siguro, kung kanina, in- hinahighlight natin yung integration ng retreats and recollections sa CL, CL curriculum and the whole pastoral ministry. Mm-hmm. Baka ngayon yung tawag ay hindi lang to integrated, pero collaborative. Collaborate. Oh. So, you collaborate, ikaw na FASI, you collaborate mm-hmm. with the religion or CLE teacher, with the class advisor, with the guidance counselor, and why not, even with the spiritual moderator mm-hmm. or the spiritual director of the school. Tapos, kayo yung magplano, mag-tailor mm-hmm. fit. At yung suggestion nga, in the context of the pandemic, pwede yung Google Form. Yeah, Google mm-hmm. Form. Mag-Zoom meeting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano Google Meet, Google pwede meet. din. Pwede Google yes. Meet, yeah. yeah. So, parang, ano, ako stress ko lang yung importance ng, ng kunyari, not only those in the pastoral team, pero yung mm-hmm. guidance counselor. Kasi nga, lalong-lalo na ngayon na, we do not know who, if our students are anxious to mm-hmm. a point that it's it's men, ano para, psychological already. Mm-hmm. Ang danger kasi nga in the retreat because you, it becomes, paano ba, lumalalim yung experience, it might open a can of worms mm-hmm. na the, only someone who has a training probably in psychological ano, processes could be able to draw out the students from the sudden anxiety. Kasi baka, baka mamaya kasi dumating yung point na biglang nag-sharing sa Zoom, nagkatharsis yung bata, hindi alam ng facilitator kung anong gagawin, hindi alam ng spiritual moderator ang gagawin, pero alam ni guidance counselor. So pagka nangyari yan sa context ng online retreat, biglang nakita mo yung video ay umiiyak na yung isang estudyante, anong concrete na pwedeng, kung nandun sa team yung guidance counselor, anong suggestion natin doon? Will ask the student, student to log out and then yeah. 
meet meet the guidance the counselor oh, oh. the guidance counselor mm-hmm. separately mm-hmm. in an online platform yeah. Yeah. Oh. so maganda talaga na nandun yung guidance counselor advisors etc na tinitingnan nila mm-hmm. yung mga reactions ng mga bata mm-hmm. so kasama siguro sa netiquette or etiquette sa online platform yung dapat naka-on yung video video mm-hmm. nakikita nakikita talaga how do they react Mm. How do they respond? Oh. And the uh, uh, facilitator, together with the rest of the team, especially the guidance counselor, can evaluate mm. what is happening. Mm-hmm. So, sa kung zoom yan, may chat feature yon na pwedeng one on one. Oi, kamusta ka na? Ganyan. Mm. Oh, de kayo lang ang magkakausap mm. online. Ah, kasi father, ano? Eh, nalulungkot ako kasi nawala ng trabaho yung nanay at tatay ko hindi ko na trigger ako nito so ano na you initiate the dialogue ganda yeah. na so mga creative ideas baka yun yung next natin anong creative ideas pa ang pwede nating idagdag oh. when we conduct the retreats and recollections sa group sharing for example are we just limited to zoom or google meet pwede rin ba halimbawa yung messenger Messenger kasi, at, ato, pwede naman, may messenger rooms na, di ba? Uh-huh. Uh, and kung titingnan mo, mas low bandwidth ang messenger. Mm. No? Which accommodates. Kaya nga maganda talaga needs assessment. Titingnan mo. Contextual talaga. Oh. Oh. Kasi kung nandong kayo sa mga far-flung areas oh. na poor signal, messenger. Messenger talaga. <laughs> pwede nga text lang yun eh. Yung ganun, oh. you don't need yung video conference text. Kasi kung talagang ma- poor signal, contextual, messenger, okay. helpful. Although, kung kaya nila na may means naman na hindi mag-messenger, huwag mag-messenger. Kasi sa messenger, ano siya eh, maraming distractions din eh. Uh-oh. So, yun nga, tara tama po yun. Needs assessment talaga. Ano ba ang kailangan, ano ba ang kakayahan ng estudyante? Ano ba ang kakayahan niyang maka-access sa internet? Kasi baka mamaya, kung wala silang kakayahan, pwedeng gumawa ka ng retreat na asynchronous, no? Na ganun. O kung yung ka ng facilitator na, pas, na malaki, ma, magaling sa asynchronous retreat, ganyan. Na may synchronous pero very minimal. Um, siguro on creativity, lalo na ngayon, kasi in a retreat and recollection, I think the facilitator, the pastoral team really has to be creative. Kasi bringing the experience of God today to varied learners is really, ano eh, hard talaga. Kasi iba-iba na lang, Gen Z, Milenas, iba na talaga sila ngayon. Lalo na ngayong time of pandemic. Kasi you don't have, you, don't, you can't interact with them face to face. So, creative ways. Um, Sa sharing, mayroon kang palaging pinopromote eh. Si Padlet. Oh. <laughs> Isa pa yun. Padlet. 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 Ito na ang airtime ni Padlet. 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 Si Padlet. Sino pong gumawa ng Padlet? Salamat po. Padlet kasi is an avenue of para um, hindi siya yung tipong sharing na voice eh. Pero you type it. Ang maganda sa Padlet, you can set it to anonymous. At maraming mga bata ngayon, yung hindi komportable na sinasabi nila yung ano nila, problema nila or nagna-ventilate sila na identify sila. Pero syempre, of course, ano yan eh, depende pa rin sa topic mo kasi baka mamaya, you need to let them own what they feel. So, pero on a very sensitive topic na they you think anonymity is good, Padlet could also be, ano, pwede rin sila mag, ano doon, mag-share ng kunyari, kung creative sharing, parang, ay creative reflection, hindi lang journaling. Meron dyan yung tipong pwede i-post nila yung picture ng artwork nila, post yung picture ng poetry nila, gano'n. Tapos, ang maganda sa Padlet, nakikita mo eh. It's like a bulletin. Apparently, it's like a wall. Nakita mo lang. Pwede ka mag-react, pwede ka mag-comment, parang I feel you sis, gano'n. <laughs> pwede ka mag-comment. Na may pwede yung anonymous feature. Anonymous pwede din may pangalan. Pwede may pangalan, gano'n. Um, what else? Creative. Siguro I'll start with how you craft the retreat. How you craft the retreat kasi it's also like, it, it really needs creativity na may tamang tempo. Parang kanyari, um, 
parang kanta yan, yung nagbe-build up hanggang hmm. climax ng kanta o kaya theater. So, dapat dumating ka sa point na... Tamang pagluluto. <laughs> ayun nga, tatamang pagluluto. Tsaka, para storytelling diba? kasi siya, di ba? When you're a fassy, you, 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 you simply tell the story of God. no hmm. So, dun sa story na yun, kailangan may mga elements na... Ano ba? Kaya importante, kunyari, Canva. Ayan, ayan ang pinakamadali ngayon. Kung ikaw ay teacher... <laughs> Canva. It's free. I, I, I'm not promoting, well, I'm promoting Canva kasi friend ko yung, ano, may friend ako sa Canva. Pero, um, Canva is free for ed, for people who are in the education sector. They give a free, premium access na for life. Maganda sa Canva kasi, you have templates already to customize your design. Importante din kasi ngayon, in time of pandemic, yung design element. Mm. Sa of the slides. Slides, mm. oo. Kasi parang, ano ba, aesthetic ang mga bata ngayon uh-huh. eh. No? So, kailangan catchy din. Pero uh-huh. syempre, hindi distracting. Uh-huh. Yun, IG worthy. Uh, <laughs> oo, oh, yun, yun. yun. Ah, IG yeah, worthy. <laughs> no? Basta ganun. Tapos, ano, um, tama lang din yung pasok. Kung yan, may sasabihin ka, alam mo may papasok na instrumental mm. music, ganun. Para, mm. ma, para, para, hindi naman para paiyakin sila, pero uh-huh. alam mong may an nakakaantig siya. Uh, so so if you're a fancy or a pastoral worker, you have to make sure that when you are te- in giving the input, you're telling a story. And when you tell a story, all the elements are there. What they see, what they hear, how they feel, how it makes them feel, ganun. So yun, Canva, kung magaling ka, Photoshop, Premiere, ganun. Papanoorin mo sila ng ganun that ev- ng something that evokes their imagination imagination and something in them to a deeper reflection. So, maraming apps ngayon actually. Zoom, yeah, um, Padlet, Flipgrid, parang mala TikTok na Padlet, ganun. So, maraming apps. Kasi siguro, in, ano, we can share during the question and answer. Yes, oo. Uh, yun yung parang, siguro kung madami pa kayong gustong malaman, sa question and answer, we can uh, discuss more about this. Kasi, yeah. Mukhang ito talaga yung kailangan nila. Mm-hmm. Pero bago tayo magtapos, no, yung mga immediate na suggestions. Be creative kasi parang limitless yung possibility ngayon. Ang limit ay yung creativity mo. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung mga technology available naman, mm-hmm. magre-research ka lang. So, limbawa kami, sa experience namin sa lit ng SYM, it's, nag-try lang kami ng month-long retreat. Yeah. So, hindi naman namin ini-expect talaga na sa normal eh, pwedeng magkaroon ng month-long retreat. Pero nagawa yun in the context of the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, ang maganda dahil online, hindi ka limited sa mga facilitators na pupunta sa isang lugar. So you mm-hmm. can get the facilitators that you want kasi mm-hmm. i-record lang nila. Mm-hmm. So halimbawa dun sa retreat na yun, napagsama-sama namin si Bishop Rex, mm-hmm. yung ECY, Episcopal Commission on Youth Chair, Chairman. Nandun din si Father Fab, Fabio Atar mm-hmm. na for the longest time ay uh, head ng Youth Ministry Department ng mga Salisians. At yung successor ni Don Bosco, mm-hmm. Rector Major. Yung mga retreat facilitators from different parts of Luzon. Mayroon from Makati, mayroon from Laguna. Mm-hmm. Eh kasi nga, uh, online. So, pwedeng i-record mm-hmm. ahead of time. Isesend lang via email or mm-hmm. via the drive. Mm-hmm. And so, yung creativity nandun, uh, tamang timpla lang. May talk, may prayer, may personal reflection, may bonding din. Mm-hmm. Sa lead retreat, mayroon kami fellowship nights. Mm-hmm nagkaroon ng dalawang fellowship night. So, parang timpla. Pagtitimpla lang. Siguro, so, I'll add po yung, yung isa sa mga retreats that I help po nung huli dito yung pag-ibo. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, share ko lang yung kwento na napagsama-sama. Yun nga yung maganda with the pandemic situation. Kasi kaya mong pagsama-samahin yung mga tao. Kala mo hindi mo may invite. Like, kunyari, si Ben and Ben nag-share. Mm. Diba? <laughs> hindi mo nang pwede sabihin, Ben and Ben, we invite you to Batulao to share. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ang hirap, diba? So, may bayad pa yun, diba? Oh. Usually. 
Pero enjoy yung paghilom kasi we got people for free. Yes, si Alden Richard, mm-hmm. yan, yung mga artista, ganyan. Tapos, um, ang naging method kasi nun, um, we, the, the team that put it together, even lit, we're in from different locations. Like, for example, sa paghilom, our main editor was from the Gupan. Mm-hmm. But the creative team who does the pub maps are coming from Montenlupa, Paranaque, and Rizal. Mm. Yon, so iba iba siya. Um, na nag come together to put up the retreat. And then ang main nagbibigay ng input, syempre, si Father So, coming from the group, no? And then we pulled together um, different facilitators for small group sharings. Na nagulat kami, the volunteers came from Luzon to Mindanao. And even the participants. Fans were coming from Luzon to Mindanao. Yung nagkaroon din kami ng one-on-one kasi dahil kailangan ng customize. So, may mga tao na gusto ng one-on-one session. So, ang maganda in the time of pandemic, we were able to gather really good, yung talagang very trained in spiritual direction. Like, the heads of CLC Ateneo, yung Zenical Sisters, yun. um, there were some Salesians who volunteered. No? So, it, ayun nga, eh, tama po yun eh. The creative, the creativity is, ano eh, is endless in the time of pandemic. And, syempre, pag in-inspire ka ng Holy Spirit to be creative, talagang to the limits, no? So, yun. Um, yeah, I think, I think ganun yung naging experience ng pag-ilom. At akala namin nung una, natatakot kami na baka mamaya, this might not be parang yung hindi sila ma- makakapag-reflect ng maayos. Nung nagulat kami at the end, even in lit, na nagulat kami at the end na um, when, nung pinaprocess kasi namin yung mga, yung mga facilitators, small group facilitators, they also share para alam namin yung input. Nagulat kami na parang ang tagal na nilang magkakakilala, lumalim yung relasyon, after pandemic, gusto magkita-kita sa Cebu, <laughs> ganyan, mga <laughs> ganoon, father. So, ano lang talaga, um, I think it's maraming possibilities na pwedeng mangyari. Kasi nga, hindi naman tayo yung gumagalaw. Yung Diyos yung gumagalaw dito. No? Nagpapagamit lang talaga tayo. So, yeah. With, with, maraming rin repeats. Hindi lang paghilong, hindi lang lit. Ang daming mga... Na, sa Manila, di ba? Si Desha Pabillo. Desha Pabillo nag-repeat sa ano, TV retreat Maria. Retreat ng clergy mm-hmm. online. Online TV too. Maria. At ang daming mga non-clergy <laughs> na sumama sa retreat ni Bishop uh, Abinio. <laughs> even Bishop Sokos, g- g- nagbigay din siya ano, nung, mm. nung retreat series niya. Marami. Actually, ang daming nag-follow through. Coming from the lit, pag-hilong, ganun. Because it's possible to connect people pala. From Luzon to Mindanao. We also had someone from Macau. Mm-hmm. We also had someone from... Ben- Parang ano lang siya, tawag dito. Um, yung hindi mo kala ang... Ka- kalain na kayang mangyari in a grand setup. Kaya pala. Kasi nga, it is online. So parang, ano no, as we come to the conclusion of this discussion, ang insight ko, hindi lang pwede maipagpatuloy yung retreats and reconnections. Hmm. Talagang pwede siyang maipagpatuloy, pero pwede pang may bago hmm. na ma-introduce sa paraan ng pagbibigay natin ng retreats and recollections. And because we will introduce something new, baka ito pa yung opportunity to make it more appealing to young people. Baka yan yung takeaway ko sa magandang discussion natin. Yes. Um, um, ang takeaway ko lang, ano eh, no? Kasi syempre, nung nagsashare po kami ng father, inaalala namin yung mga experiences namin in giving retreats and recollections, even online. Ang... Um, Ang, ang ako, takeaway ko lang, ano eh, no, kapag grasya ng Diyos yung gumalaw, hindi mo aakalain kung ano yung pwedeng mangyari eh. Which is also true naman when you're a pastoral worker in the school, no? Parang as part of the pastoral team, feeling ko in this time of pandemic, nakarapat ang retreat and recollection, pero nakarapat din na ang pastoral team would be very discerning hmm. because, um, yun nga, we are simply vessels of grace by God, no? Secondly, in all for the pastoral workers also to be uh, mag magkaroon ng shift ng mindset na this is not a class, this is not a batch. Kasi nga madaling sabihin yan, okay, retreat of of grade twelve ganito. 
Pero sana, maging kung ako pastor ng Burger Retreat o Grade 12, si Dennis U. Ganyan. Siya ang bibigyan ko na retreat. No? So, para siyang... Parang may sinabi akong Dennis U. Na very political. Ako nga ba siya? Sorry. Si Brother Dennis U yun. At yun yung problema ko. Sabi ko yung Dennis U. O Dennis, ano, pae. Si Father Dennis. Tignan ako, o nga, no? Parang familiar yung name. Malay mo kailangan niya na retreat para mag-bounce siya, di ba? So, ano, yun nga. Parang we are dealing with individuals. That's why all the things that we discussed, customization of the retreat, no? Being prayerful in designing the retreat is because we know we have very we have we have students who have varied experiences, mm-hmm. no? So yun lang. I think yun nga, It's a work of God's grace. Na at last at the end, ang sa totoo lang pagkasi ka. Masaya ako magkasi na retreat eh, kasi nga para in the thing, nakikinig ka ng sa nakikinig ka, nakikita mo yung galuyan ng grasa ng Jesus. Nagbabago ka din. Eh. So in the process. It's an exciting time for pastoral life. Uh, sa akin, isa lang yung takeaway ko, something very, very basic, yet fundamental, yung aspect ng preparation. Yung preparation, for example, of um, reaching out to other members of the team, of contacting the parents, of disposing the students by having many recollections before the recollection itself. And at the same time, your personal preparation as a minister na for you to accompany for you to listen to the stories to the god experiences of your charges you get to be attuned also to your experience with god you get to listen also to your to god's voice within you okay i i think this wraps up the first round of our fourth episode when we return, we will have the opportunity to address our questions to our resource persons. Thank you. Number one, for your questions, kindly type them anytime in the question answer. We will accommodate as many questions as time permit. Number two, to ask a question in person, you will have to indicate first in the chat box that you would like to ask a question in person. And then if you're acknowledged, please accept the invite, unmute your microphone, and switch on your camera. Number three, microphones will remain on mute and video cameras turned off until given the opportunity to ask the question in person. Okay. Father Juvilan is here with us. We're waiting for Ma'am Lian to come in, but perhaps you could proceed with the questions. Let's pick this question coming from Sir Alvin. His question is, Paano nga po kaya magagawa ang small group sharing kapag online? Possible ba yun? Father Juvilan? First of all, good morning to everybody. <laughs> it's so nice to be here in the Chef series. And uh, I'm very happy to interact with our participants in the webinar na kanina pa ay nag-chat-chat chat doon. Sana ituloy-tuloy natin yung pag-chat-chat. <laughs> it's so nice to be with you this morning. So doon sa ta- tanong na pwede ba ang group sharing sa retreat in the new normal or recollection in the new normal, I think pwede. At maraming ma- but ibang paraan kung paano magnamen pareho sa lit at uh, nagawa din sa paghilom 
Pwedeng may group sharing via yung mas stable naman yung connection pwede din mga kakataon na pwedeng mag group sharing. Hindi ko lang alam kung familiar yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon na yung Zoom kung may budget na Yung po yung Okay. Uh, we're having problems with Father Zuvilan. Um, maybe while waiting for him to return, let's have Miss Lian. Ma'am, bati po muna tayo sa mga participants natin. Hello po. So, hi everyone. Um, it's also nice to be with you, even if it's virtual, no? And, uh, Sige. Yung, siguro, Father, kukonect ko lang. I think, alam ko na kung ano yung gustong sabihin ni Father Jubilan. Ikukonect ko lang yung idea niya. Mm. Yung, yung sinasabi niya, kasi, I think, ha, kung may budget ang school, <laughs> at kung may budget yung organization who will do the retreats and recollections, kung hindi siya individual, ano, um, thing, um, siguro, pwedeng, sa Zoom kasi, pag bumili ka ng account, I think, as on a certain level, there, there's what you call the breakout rooms, no? So, while the session is ongoing, kung sino yung host, he or she could um, select sino yung mga tao na ilalagay niyo sa mga breakout rooms. And then, nakatime yon, so siguro 30 minutes, and then after the 30 minutes, babalik sila sa main session. So, may ganong feature ang Zoom. I'm not sure, well, Google Meet doesn't have that yet. Pero may rumor sa kong nagiginig sa Google Circle, sabi sa amin, sa Google Eduk, um, sa suite na, yun nga, um, they might integrate breakout rooms later on. But, but I'm not sure about that, no? So, so far, yun lang, Zoom has a breakout room session. Now, if walang budget for Zoom, pwedeng, ewan ko, gawin through Messenger, although pag grade school, mahirap. Ay, hmm. ayan, Father. Si Father Jubilan nandiyan. Father, sinabi ko yung feeling kong idea mo. Yung breakout room. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Yun. Correct. <laughs> Inugtokan pati na. Yung, ano, pati, yung, pati yung messenger nga. Kasi ayan. kung walang, ano, walang matibay na connectivity or nakadata lang, pwedeng gamitin yung messenger. Di ba? Okay. Uh, yung mga walang stable internet connection, pwede pong gamitin. Anbawa, nasa province or nasa bundo. Kasi si Father Dante, mayroon siyang inorganize din na online retreat ng mga kabataan. Pero yung mga participants niya nasa provinces at nasa mga bundo, nasa far-flung areas. Tuloy po yung group sharing nila through messenger. Siyempre, may mga limitations yun. Pero kung ang tanong ay, pwede ba? Pwede. Iba't ibang possibilities depende po sa kung anong meron kayo. Ang huling gusto kong idagdag dyan ay kung walang-wala talaga, maybe you could explore a kind of group sharing within the family. Mm-hmm. ba Yung kung, walang, kung hindi uh, online ang platform natin module, pwede the material could direct the participant and the family to to have a kind of group sharing as a family, as part of the retreat experience. Mm. Yeah. Medyo advanced yung sinabi ni Father Jubilan. I think that also satisfies the question of Ma'am Candida Ramirez. Yung question niya, how about those students who opted to have modular classes? How can mm. they avail of the recollection? And what are your suggestions? Yung sabi ni Father Jubilan, we make use of modules. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, the, the sharing could be done in the context of the family. Yeah. Correct. Na, Father Doni, kami sa Don Bosco, Makati, uh, yung family ministry mm-hmm. namin sa school, 
ay may ginagawang weekly family gospel sharing. Na ang 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 basis nito ay yung gospel of that particular Sunday. At ang ginagawa po namin ay ini-encourage namin yung families ng mga estudyante namin na bago yung Sunday celebration of the Eucharist, they do this family gospel reflection together. So, naka-upload din po yung kumbaga quote and quote module sa website ng Don Bosco Makati. Merong steps doon ng prayer, reading of the gospel, sharing, and closing prayer. That in itself could be a kind of mini recollection of the family. Uh, um, this also um, brings us back to the idea dun sa sinabi ni Father Juvelan kanina na sana magkaroon ng mga mini recollection sa mga CL classes. Yeah. We don't have to wait for big things like retreat and recollection to come for us to have a sharing of our God experiences because a CL facilitator, a youth minister, a catechist, Faith formator could do it in the context of the online or asynchronous or synchronous platform. Hmm. Um, Lian, would you like to add more? Um, yun nga, kasi I'm a teacher also. So, a teacher of PO. Um, I think, yun nga eh, um, ang challenge kasi for CLE and theology when you teach it, it might really, you know, be on a head level. Pero kasi, ako what in my experience natutunan ko na mas na, na mas na lumalalim yung mga estudyante ko kapag ginawa ko siya towards the end i put pastoral points so this, this is ano this is something that the church teaches this is something mm. that comes from the word no but it has to also go into the level of so, um experience ng mga bata um you also have to lead them into prayer so um ako ang ginagawa ko at the end of each class I usually integrate um, a time wherein they could share um, things that they realize, practical points about the lesson, and then gagawa ng prayer experience, kahit mga five minutes lang. So, um, yun nga, let's be quiet, let's think about what we've learned, and then let's pause for a moment, or let it simmer, and then later on, you guide them into a prayer experience, may kanta, you let them meditate on the song, how it speaks to them. And then at the end, you know, you wrap up the class. No? At the end, usually, pag ganun, usually nagsistay pa yung mga bata. Ako, experience ko sa atin eh. May mga bata nagsistay. Kasi dun sa prayer, hindi ko yun yung time na just to be quiet. So nababother sila lalo. <laughs> Parang usap kami about love. Kung siisip nila kung sino mga bibreakan nila, kailangan nilang breakan. Ganyan. So may intention pa ng CN. Or in theology. So, yun, I think, ano siya, it really, ha- dapat may time for pauses in class, mm. no? Yung, this is, hindi lang yung dire-diretsya na this is point A, point B, point C. Pero you bring mm. them to, so what do you think about this, no? Mm. Um, yun. So, in a way, parang retreat na rin siya. Parang recollection then yung experience nung class, eh. Mm. Th- thank you, Ma'am Lian. Um, gusto kong idagdag doon sa sinabi ni Ma'am Lian yung concept ng prayer experiences na pwedeng-pwedeng gawin in an asynchronous, sorry, in a, in a synchronous platform. Ibig sabihin, you as the facilitator, you will tell them the instructions step by step. Pero itong prayer experience, we can also do this as, we can also do this at asynchronous, no? Mm-hmm. Um, na sabi natin kanina na kailangan lang ng Precise at sa clear instruction. Uh, yes. May question kasi si Sir J. Ryan Flores. Ang sabi niya, thank you so much for a meaningful sharing and input for the spiritual development of our students. But let me ask you, dear speakers, this question. How are we going to make this kind of strategy in facilitating retreats and recollections for those students who live in far-flung areas and even the signals of the phones cannot be available? Yung, yung sa akin, yung prayer experiences na pwedeng i-type, i-print, o kaya uh, i-send via messenger ahead of time para ma- ma-ikalat ng mga classmates. 
Yeah, siguro pwede yun. Tapos yun nga, dahil nga it's a, a, it's asynchronous, tapos posible yun eh, yung ilalagay mo yung retreat in Papa LBC mo. <laughs> Depende kung gaano kalayo, kung walang connectivity, no? O kaya ipalala, I, well, I don't know, ipalala move, no? Um, recently, sa school namin, um, what the um, student affairs office is doing is that kapag kunyari meron kaming estudyante na may difficulty to access our classes and even in campus ministry um meron kaming backup na written mm. form so lahat mm. ng lessons should be in written form even the retreat is in written form so yung written form retreat na yon parang ang dating pag binabasa nila nandun sila sa retreat so yun mm. nga katulad ko na so um section kanina clear instructions lang so for example welcome to this retreat yun yeah, nabibasa nila welcome to this retreat mm-hmm. um, you give a description of the retreat and then you give instructions make your prayer space this is how you oh. do it maybe in the home ganito yung yung pwedeng setup yan oh. and then open your bible so ano siya as if you're reading mm-hmm. uh, when you when you read it as if you hear the facilitator mm-hmm to you, no? And mm-hmm. I think, ano lang siya, um, creativity, how to craft it, especially if it's in written form. Yun. Tapos ipapadala yun sa mga estudyante para hindi sila yung napipil nilang left out sila sa klase kasi wala silang internet, no? Yun. Thank you, ma'am. Um, maybe we can proceed to the question of Ma'am Emilu Katrina. Sabi niya, what is the ideal time or how long do you think an online recollection for grade schools, no? elementary students should be? Siguro, let's give this question to the spiritual moderator of the grade school <laughs> department, Father JP. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for the question. Uh, um, ma-attend po kayo ng iba't ibang mga webinar, yung common response nila sa screen time tungkol yung question no kung gaano katagal ang ideal screen time ng elementary students parang halos unanimous sila na between 1 hour to 2 hours a day ang mm. screen time ideal screen time for elementary mm. students so baka magandang sumunod po tayo doon na kung meron tayong uh, online session wag hahaba mm. sa 1 hour or like, uh, two hours for elementary students. And then we plan the other activities uh, as a kind of follow-up to those sessions. Ang isang pwedeng i-explore po natin dyan sa retreat and recollection ng mga elementary ay baka pwedeng wag isang umaga lang. Pwedeng ngayong umaga na ito, meron kang 30-minute session tapos mayroong another 30 minute activity ganun tapos itutuloy-tuloy mo ng 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 days kasi nga nasa bahay naman sila ang ganun thank you father Juvelan uh, si Ma'am Lian would you like to add to that actually okay na yun yung screen time tama si father pag bata kasi Ano sila, you can't let them sit down for a very long time. Unless na, unless na, there is a two hours mo, or one hour na lang. So one hour mo, meron kang Zoom games. Ganyan yung, bring me. <laughs> so integrate mo yung, integrate mo yung, ano mo, retreat mo dun sa bring me, di ba? Parang ganun. Um, siguro, also, sa grade school, tama nga si father, yung i- it would be best if it's not just one day. Parang ikakalat siya. Tapos maganda din sa grade school yung may challenges in relation to what they're doing at home. So, siguro at the end of the session, sabihin sa kanila na may mga activities that would let them um, move them to do something. Na offline. So, kunyari, um, go to your mommy, ganyan, and ano, um, hug her, mga ganun, or say sorry to your your, ano, to your, mm-hmm. your brother who, who view mo, who, uh, ano, ano, hurt mo, ganun. Tapos pagbalik nyo dun, pagbalik nyo ng big group na, ipashare nyo sila, so ano na feel nila. Yan, yung mga ganun, ipa-feel, anong na feel uh, nila kapag, mm-hmm. 
nung lumalapit silang mag-sorry, ganyan, or ano yung naisi, ano yung na-realize nila right after, ano yung na-feel nila, ano yung, ano yung naging message ni God for them, ganun. So, ano, mm-hmm. yun. Yun na maganda eh, kasi nga, integrated mm-hmm. show with the family. No? Yes. Uh, and like, so, I, I think also that's very creative because we consider the environment where the children are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Si Father Zobet, he's in the back channel and he'd like to uh, add up to the discussion as regards the time allotment. Um, yung input niya, for grades 5 to 8, 15 to 20 minutes is allotted for online conference or presentation. Ito yung synchronous. Aside from this, pwede na sa asynchronous experience or activity. So we can have, for example, that activity which is suggested by, by Ma'am Lian. Um, as asynchronous, no? And then he adds, yung 15 to 20 minutes, we can do that every day or every other day. Yeah. Now let's let's proceed to one of the comments coming from the participants. The Mamir na kakailala. Um, sabi niya para din pong pagtuturo ng catechism. I always remind catechists during orientation and using pambatang catechesis, not just to depend on the given materials or tools or instruments of teaching. Every catechist must be creative in teaching the word of God as God was very creative in using parables to get his message. That's the contribution of Ma'am Yerna. Salamat po. I think this was also mentioned by Father JP earlier. Kapag nagbibigay tayo ng input, we say it in a narrative form. Nagkakwento tayo. Yeah. Um, maybe we can we can Spend some time answering this question coming from Miss Lalaine May Boxy. Sabi niya, may mga maisasuggest po ba kayo na activities, lalo na sa online na ngayon ang klase? And activities na pwedeng gawin ngayon ng mga kabataan sa youth ministry? Hmm. Okay. I'll go first. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, um, online activities um in relation to kasi i am looking at the question in relation to class or in relation to to retreats and recollections pwede siguro in connection with retreats and recollections mm-hmm. na pwede rin gamitin ng mga youth ministers in uh, yeah. group dynamics for example sige um activities yun nga yung katulad ng sinabi ko kanina patok na patok na yun yung mga zoom games <laughs> ang tawag ng zoom games kasi biglang naging ano sa term siya um meron eh meron ding mga tip naalala ko meron akong meron akong um meron akong sinalihan na isang um webinar ng isang youth group ng Catholic Youth Action so they spent like 10 minutes doing Zoom games na require you to move your body. So parang hindi lang bring me eh, parang I forgot kung ano yung, I forgot kung paano yung mechanics ng game. Pero yun nga, it, it requires you to move, it requires you to, to ano, to, um, to do something at home. Yun. Tapos meron din ganyari yung mga Zoom games na sinishare yung screen. Tapos para siyang trivia, sasagutin, may nagko-control. So ganun. Um, in a way, nagiging interactive siya. Ginagamit yung annotations ng Zoom. Yung mga ganon. Um, another activity would be, kunyari, if, ah, di ba sa isang recollection, minsan may mga group, um, tawag dito, make a collage of, di ba? Yung mga ganon, mm-hmm. um, express um, kung ano yung naging group sharing nyo in a collage. Tapos bibigyan nyo sila ng mm-hmm. materials. Dahil wala nang ganun, you could use applications such as, kunyari, Google Jamboard. Yan. So, yung Google Jamboard is a collaborative app wherein when they open that, they could add um, stuff into what you call a, a, jam, a, a whiteboard thing, ganyan. And then they add shapes, they add... So, ah, tapos they can screenshot it. Tapos, mm. ipang screenshot, tapos ipakita dun sa plenary, you know, kapag nag-gather na sila. So, Yun, ah, marami namang, maraming apps kayo na collaborative. Um, yun nga, Padlet. Kanina nabanggit na yung Padlet. <laughs> yun, merong Google Jamboard. Um, yeah, so Flipgrid. Merong Flipgrid for ano naman siya. Kung hindi siya yung, 
as hindi siya synchronous para siyang TikTok na may 1 minute and 30 seconds na na pwedeng mag mag video, mag selfie video yung kunyari mm. pang sabihin, sabihin sabihin ni facilitator. So what um what did you feel after the session? So um do a flip read. So mag ako ang gagawin ko yung phone ko, mag-record ko yung sarili ko, yung feelings ko. Tapos, matatapos yun ng 1 minute and 30 seconds. And then, after a while, I can see all the flip grids of my classmates. I can reply with also my selfie. So, parang hmm. um Yeah, mas actually low bandwidth din siya compared to Zoom. So, pag may ganong option na, na while they're doing your prayer moment or nakalay hmm. sila, gagawin nila yung flip grid at their own time. Yun. So, kita mo yung... Tas, ano yun? Um, pwedeng maging interactive yun. Ganyari, at the, sabihin ni facilitator, after you answer that question, I want you to call someone and then um, tawag dito, tag someone and then yung someone na yun will answer... Well, you will also give a, a question and then i-answer niya. Parang ganon. So, in a way, mm. naging interactive yung klase kahit hindi siya synchronous. Mm. Thank you, Ma'am Lian. Um, I'll, I'll go to this question because this is very interesting. Sabi niya, thank you oh, me, to the me. panelists. Ah, okay. 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 Yes, Father? Hello? Oh. Okay. Okay. Me, yes, me, yes. Iba pang mga possibilities eh. Halimbawa, uh, Kung mas, ano na, nasa high school na yung mga retreat participants, junior high, senior high, baka pwedeng as a kind of climax din ng retreat nila, mayroong fellowship activity online. Uh, na mm-hmm. nagawa natin yan sa lit retreat. So, mayroong mga talent, talent portion. <laughs> Parang ganun, na ginawa na ng mga retreat participants beforehand, mayroong magaling na mag-edit, tapos in one evening, parang, di ba, sa mga ano, may mga talent portion. So, gumawa ng kwento dun sa mga talents nila, and that became a kind of beautiful, youthful, fun conclusion to the retreat that we were having. Mm-hmm. Yung week before that, mayroon namang parang online tambayan. Nandun lang, nandun lang kami lahat sa platform na yun, no? Facebook Live. Tapos, kamustahan lang, uh, nagbibigay ng mga comments, reactions, tapos nagsasagutan. So, parang naging online tambayan yung dating. Na kung translate natin sa mas formal language, parang ito yung plenary group sharing ng mga nagre-retreat. Mm-hmm. Yan. Sa paghilom, alam ko, mayroon silang ibang activity na ginawa. Ito naman, mas serious. So I guess, pagka mga senior high school or college students, pwede ito. One-on-one spiritual direction. Mm-hmm. Parang yung participant, i-assign sa isang SD at uh, mayroon siyang one-on-one session. Kung maganda yung internet connection, pwede yung Facebook messenger na video chat kung wala ano lang chat chat lang talaga pero pwede mm. din po yung mga ganong activities yan mm. thank you father um i'll i'll answer this question right away although this was already touched by the presentation earlier it's coming from miss eloisa marie innocentes um, what are some strategies, activity steps that can be done to create the sense of going away from the usual or ascending to a higher plane when the participants remain in their own, own homes during the recollection experience? Yung sinabi ni Ma'am Lian kanina, I'd refer to that, yung paggawa ng sacred space. And perhaps sacred time, kung asynchronous yung mode ng recollection. So for example, um, Patay na oras yung 3 o'clock, everybody is sleeping at home. Then I'll choose that kasi tahimik yon. Tapos I'll go to my room or kung, walang, kung wala akong kwarto sa bahay, I'll go to a silent corner. 
na hindi ko maririnig yung mga video kay ng kapitbahay, walang tricycle na dumadaan doon, I will treat that as my sacred space. So it will remind me that this place is sacred and every time I go to this place, I encounter God, which should be part of the instructions you'll be telling the student. Okay? Uh, Pwede doon um, yung sa kom- ano, paggawa ng sacred space. Um, yung specifics, for example, Father? you, yes, yes. Clear ako? Ah, yung yung idea, sacred okay? space, parang baka pwede yung mas det- detalye lang ng onte Pagka magpipili sila ng sacred space nila, sana hindi lang yung tahimik na lugar. Sana ihanda din nila yung lugar na yon So kung ano yung pinaka-tahimik, pinaka-private, yun yung pipiliin nilang sacred space nila. Pero linisin nila. Iayos yeah. nila yung lugar na yon para mas maging conducive for prayer. And then, kuha sila ng ano, religious item. Halimbawa, Meron silang crucifix or maliit na image ni Mary Hill or any religious icon that would uh, add a kind of solemnity to the place. Kuha sila ng kandila and when they begin their prayer session, they light the candle. Kung gusto nila, may papamupa nga yun. So the place become something different. Diba yan naman yung sacred, something different from the ordinary place in the house. Ayan mm. po. Okay, thank you Father. That's very well taken. Um, merong common question coming from the participants. Uh, rec- recollection retreat modules na available. Oh. Na para sa akin, step 3 na. Sa akin, babalik ako dun sa input natin kanina na Let's do needs assessment first. Sino, right. ba, sino ba yung mga bibigyan ng recollection at saka retreat? Ano ba yung resources na available? Ano ba yung need nila psychologically, emotionally, spiritually? Tapos from there, we devise. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, so, may, may follow up yata dito na question ng screen time. Kay Miss hmm. Eloisa Innocentes pa rin. So ma'am, okay. ang reference ko po ay yung uh, DepEd memo noong July 21, 2020. 2020 Ito yung mga sinasabi dito. Kindergarten, ito yung sa number 5. Kindergarten, maximum of 1 hour daily. Yan yung uh, maximum screen time nila based on the AAP, American Academy of Pediatrics. Grades 1 to 5, maximum of 1.5 hours daily. At nagpa-concur din dito yung WHO. Pagdating naman po ng grades 6 to 8, maximum of 2 hours daily. So iba-iba po pagka uh, depending on the grade level. Now when we go to grades 9 to 12, a maximum of 4 hours daily. Two hours in the morning and another two hours in the afternoon. Ito po yung ano, uh, data from the DepEd memo 2020-00162. Yan. Salamat. Oh, thank you, Father Juvelan. Um, let's go to this question coming from Ms. Emilu Katrina. Given a very short period of time, what are the important elements of recollection that are non-negotiable? Okay, I'll, I'll answer first. Siguro, ano din to? In relation to the person, si ma'am, um, the one who has the modules, no? I forgot. Mm-hmm. Ano, wala na. Or, yeah, the, to the one who's asking for modules. Well, usually, the, the school has, baka meron na in the campus ministry, no? So, kailangan mag-coordinate with pastoral affairs. Baka meron na silang ready modules. Kung wala, you can actually make your own. That's why, for example, for grade school, um, siguro I'll, I'll 
this is something that I've done when I was a campus minister. Um, baka si Father Juvelan has another way of also doing 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 it. Pero ato, ato suggestion for me. Siguro first, you start with human experience to ground them. So, um, mm-hmm. ang tawag ko doon to hook. So, you hook the student. So, pwede yung kunyari grade 5. As ang common experience nila ay TikTok. Ganyan. Parang kung ikaw ay nasa TikTok at, 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 at ang, kunyari ang topic mo is about love. Kung ikaw ay nasa TikTok, ano ang love hugot mo? Ganon. So, parang parang pwede mo silang i-group. Tapos para siyang game. Ganyan na, sige, ito yung magiging TikTok nila. Mahilig sila sa ganon. So, or parang yun nga, um, tawag dito, pwede yung ganon, tatawag, tatawag yung teacher na, okay, si Si ganito, gag- gagawin niya yung TikTok. So, pad- parang sasayaw siya. <laughs> Yan yung love niya. While on screen, ha? And then, oh, sa, sa, sa totoong buhay, well, mas padali yun. Hook. And then, second would be, coming from the hook, would be book. So, what you do with book is the word. Kasi importante. Yan yung isang non-negotiable. <laughs> Ay, sorry, nag-it and recollect. Kasi, hindi ka dapat kumuhan I think ah hindi uh, bilang facilitator hindi ka dapat yung kumuha from well maganda naman yung mga um, spiritual books na ito yung mga take on a certain topic pero you really have to begin with the reading parang reading of the gospel or re- yeah reading from the gospel reading from scripture kasi for some odd reason even if we think it's not something that the kids understand they actually do there's a power mm. and you know, reading of the word. It's just that you facilitate them mm. the experience of reading of the word that it becomes mm. part of your story. So, yun, book. Tapos, part of the book is that, syempre, ano tinuturo ng simbahan about it? Ganyan. So, pwedeng merong something from a saint. Ganyan. Saint John Bosco. Si John Bosco. Ganyan. Um, pang, pang, parang pang ground pa lalo. Ganyan. Mm. And then, right after that, the next would be look. A deeper look into it. So, parang, may input na sa facilitator mga 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just to connect the human experience and the word. Yan. Mm-hmm. And then, after that input, yung next is nook. So, you go to your prayer space, um, go to your sacred space, this, these are the guide questions for you to reflect, or silent time, mga 10 minutes, ganyan, kung so, dire-diretsong synchronous. And then, Right after that, yung pwede mag-group sharing, ganyan. Maganda kasi, at lalo na pag mga bata, gusto, gusto niyan mag-share. So, maganda din kung grade school, hindi lang limited to talking. Kasi you have to, mm-hmm. remind, you to be reminded as a teacher that there are multiple intelligences. So, pwede yung sharing niya is kinesthetic, gumagalaw siya, no? Pwede yung sharing niya is the point. So, magugulat ka sa creativity na pwede nilang ilabas. And then, after sharing of input, then took. Pag took kasi, you will challenge them now. So, sa lahat ng nangyari ngayong araw na to, sa lahat ng nangyari sa recollection, ano ang takeaway? Ano ang one line, one line challenge that I will do Parang for the rest of the week and for the rest of the month? Ganyan. So, something concrete that would make them do something. Yan. So, mm-hmm. tas wrap up ng facilitator, closing prayer. So, ganun. Yun. Basta, and that, and the thing, sana at the end, merong konkreto. Hindi lang yung tipong, okay, ito yung na-realize ko, naiyak ako, ang ganda-ganda. Mm-hmm. Pero dapat may pagbabago sa buhay ko. So, ano yung pwede? Tapos siguro yun nga, liturgy experience. So, kahit online, nandun pa rin siya. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Pada Juvila, may dadagdag po kayo. Ako kung pinaka-essential siguro yung uh, siyempre number one, yung Word of God sa naaabot yung retreat natin sa ano, Reflection on the Word of God, Bible. Tapos pangalawa, yung human experience na sinasabi din ni Ma'am Lian kanina. So may human experience, ano yung kanasan mo, pa- and then that that could also be used as a tool in order to catch the attention of the students. Pero the other one is the uh, the word of God, and we establish connections. Si Father Jobet, mayon lang siyang shiner dito na uh, teacher tips for virtual learning instruction. Na ang source naman ay si Farnsworth and Anderson. 
Ito naman yung sharing nila dito about virtual learning instruction. So for kinder to grade 5, ibang uh, division naman ito, uh, 5 to 15 minutes lang. So definitely a lot shorter than the other recommendation from WHO and AAP. Tapos mayroon dito, grades 5 to 8 naman po, ma mabilis lang din, 15 to 20 minutes. And then grades 9 to 12, 25 to 30 minutes. So, iba-ibang mga parang suggestions po ito. Maybe when you start your online classes this school year, you could uh, better gauge the capacity of your students for online uh, retreats and recollections. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Father. Um, let's perhaps just share this insight coming from one of the participants, Sir J. Ryan Flores. This will really help our students because many of them are really in need for God, especially in the field of morality. I think retreat and recollections are enlightenment for them to choose the right action than the wrong ones. It will make them reflect that God must be always present in every decision they make and in every circumstance in life, both success and problem. Thank you, sir. Father, I'll... Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll add something na lang po in the chat box. I, 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 ano lang to, additional guide. Kasi mm. yeah, I'll add it here. You can access it po sa chat box. The title of the document is Online Spiritual Conversation, a short guide for group leaders and facilitators. So mm. um, it's a guide on how you do online, um, yun nga, online Zoom meetings or Google Meets. Ganyan. So may parang may... Mm na siya dyan, or step by step. So that's one resource. Oo. Uh, aabangan natin yan, ma'am. Um, we will share this to the public. Okay? I think it's available na in the public chat. Now let's just have this one final question because we're running out of time. It's not a question, but um, an insight. That's right, Miss Lian and fathers. Telling po kay Miss Maria Luz Taray, the integration of prayer experiences in a form of synchronous, and maybe it is also possible in video or audio pre-recorded. In fact, sa YouTube, maraming mga spiritual exercises na nagihintay. No? Yeah. Same in consciousness. Maraming. Uh, play mo lang. So, just go through with the experience. Um, uh, we are running out of time, uh, but before we wrap this up, maybe we can leave a um, final message to our participants, um, Ian and Father JP. Father, you first. <laughs> 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 Ako, ang gusto kong sabihin, ano, these are exciting times. Pagka may mga moments of difficulties or ano, moments of change, uh, nachachallenge din tayo to adapt to the situation. So siguro yung mindset na uh, this is a new situation, but it doesn't mean that because the situation is new, I will just give up. Um, in the course of our sharing this morning, we realized that the experience of retreats and recollections is important in the old normal, pero in the context of the new normal, kailangan na kailangan siya. Mas kailangan pa siya. So, dahil mahalaga siya, kailangan as youth ministers, huwag tayong mag-give up sa paghahanap ng paraan para ano yun, maipagpatuloy itong importanteng ministry na ito para sa mga kabataan ngayon. Siguro that's number one. Our disposition na hindi tayo mag-give up 
and we challenge ourselves to be more creative in order to respond to the situation of the young. Pero pangalawa, yung retreats and recollections, these are moments or occasions na nagkakatagpo yung Diyos at yung kabataan. And ultimately, it is the work of God. It is the work of the Spirit. So we trust that God will will make a way. <laughs> Hanggat uh, nakikikooperate tayo, nandyan yung biyaya ng Diyos, nandun yung tulong ng Espiritu Santo. And for all we know, even with all the limitations that we're experiencing right now, isang pangkilos lang ng Espiritu Santo, pwede nating ma-achieve yung gusto, gusto nating ma-achieve for a retreat or recollection experience. So, yung disposition natin na hindi susuko, pero yung pangalawa, yung disposition din natin na magtiwala sa Diyos na siya yung kikilos para maging mapaguluhan yung experience. That's beautiful. Thank you, Father JP. Ma'am Lian? Sige po. Dahil po face day ni San, po face day ni San Ignacio, <laughs> yung unang point ko po na isa-share, um, meron po sa principles and foundations ng spiritual exercises na sa experience ng tao, kapag nalugmok siya or dumating siya sa pagkakataon na dumulit siya, yun yung pagkakataon na lumalapit ang Diyos. No? I think the time of pandemic is an opportune time. Now, I'm not saying that it's Buti na lang nangyari to. Pero hindi ko sinasabi na ganun. Pero it's an opportune time, I think, for us to be like what Father Juvelin said. Channels of grace from uh, of God in order to reach out to our students. Actually, kahit na nakita natin sa social media na parang TikTok lang sila ng TikTok, o kaya post lang sila ng post. Sa totoo lang, deep inside, um, it's actually psychologically, eh, pwede din kasi it's an expression of, uh, parang it's a... Uh, what do you call this, defense mechanism lang. Pero deep inside, sa totoo lang, ako napansin ko, lalo na ngayon, they're hungry for God, and they're, they just don't do it. Yun. So I think, mm-hmm. tama si Father Jubilant, that we really need to be, you know, facilitators of grace. Um, mm-hmm. Pero, dahil mahal ko din po naman si San, San, San Juan Bosco, mag-e-end po ako sa point ko. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi katapat ko siya ngayon, di ba? So, <laughs> <laughs> literal, and then so, um, I think yung image of the Good Shepherd. Um, I think as pastoral workers, as CLE teachers, as um, people who work in youth ministry, I think we need to um, follow the follow the footsteps of Jesus as the Good Shepherd at this point. Na, yun nga, sana magkaroon tayo ng hindi lang pakialam, pero sana magkaroon tayo ng what you call burden for the lost. Yung at this point, no? Kasi, di ba, si Don Bosco, his motto was to, to um, give me souls, take away the rest. It came from a zeal for souls. It came from the zeal for the souls of young people. I think, sa, bilang pastoral worker, importante yung, hindi ko naman po sinasabi na hindi na kayo nakakatulog sa gabi, lalong po kayo hindi makatulog, no? <laughs> Pero sana yung with the heart of the Good Shepherd, at the end of the day, I hope it bothers you even a bit that there are people, young people, your students that are going through things at the moment. That if you're even you're going through a rough time, you, you try to imagine them without the right spiritual muscle, uh, with their, uh, uh, parang, um, without the spiritual muscle yet to wrestle with many, many questions. No? And because you're there and because God has called you, then yeah, be a channel of grace, have a heart of the good shepherd. Kasi magsisimula siya sa ganun. If you have the burden for the lost, an intense longing for, you know, for souls just like how, what Jesus felt, you know, when, when, when people are lost, no? Um, I think yung gift of discernment, mabalik ako, Ignacio. <laughs> yung gift of discernment, dadating lang din yan. Parang whenever God gives you a task and a mission, if you have the right disposition in the heart to in the heart to it uh, for it the grace to accomplish the mission will follow so yung kaninang nagtanong ano yung mga modules anong gagawin namin that's why you really have to pray about it you really have to ask mm-hmm. god so lord ano bang gagawin natin sa mga estudyante to and then yung magugulat ka kasi nga pag nasa ministry of recollection 
parang medyo biglang papasok na word, scripture passage, ganyan, kanta, and then you build from that. And then you realize the end of the recollection ay hindi mo hindi mo siya gawain. Kasi hindi ikaw ang nag-effort. <laughs> Talaga dumadating lang all the ideas. So, yeah. So there. I think um, it starts again with this position with the heart of the pastoral worker. Um, coupled with the with, with that with of course the gift of discernment to, that God gives and the grace of discernment that God gives in order for us to to know what are the right things to say, what are the right activities to do, what are the platforms that we need to use. So in lang. Maraming salamat. Ang ganda. Para nung sinabi ni Sir Alvin kanina, para din daw siyang nag-retreat and nag-recollection. <laughs> Very refreshing. Okay. Once again, thank you, Father Jovelan and Ma'am Lian. And thank you too to our wonderful webinar attendees. Um, if you're not aware of it, available po din sa handout section yung yung handout natin for this episode of Chef. And we invite you to the Chalk Talk online webinars which are scheduled in the coming weeks. Next week, August 6, a Thursday, at 10 o'clock, we'll be having this CTO, Chalk Talk online on communicating and coaching. This talk aims to improve communication between parents and their children. The next day, August 7, Friday, at 10 o'clock again, creating a mental health program for school in this time of pandemic. This is in partnership with the Psychological Association of the Philippines. So August 12, naman po, Wednesday, again at 10 o'clock, we'll have this talk talk online with UP Open University on quality assurance in remote teaching and learning. Some other announcements, the certificates for those registered attendees will be sent to you in two weeks' time. Please note that only those who have registered will receive the certificate. The recorded version of this session will be sent to you within 24 hours so you can go over the points discussed today. And finally, please do not forget to accomplish the evaluation form at the end of the credits to help us further improve the program. So again, thank you for joining us today at Salisana Books Shock Talk Online. We hope to see you again in our upcoming session. This has been Father Donnie Duchindui SDB. Thanking you and until next time. God bless. education through quality textbooks.